स्नेर दे दो मेरा ख्याल क्लोज करो स्लोली करते जाओ एक मिनट हो गया पूरा है ना जी सर पूरा वो मुझे कैन कैन यू गाइस हियर मी और नो और कुछ यस वी कैन हियर यू ओके सो डिड यू सी द केस आई गेस द वन आई एम डूइंग राइट नाउ ओके दिस इज अ इनकी उम्र कितनी है इनकी उम्र क्या उम्र क्या उम्र देखो पाल Fifty. So she's a fifty years old, and uh, she had this recurrent pancreatic pseudo cyst. She mm. had a drainage few years ago. She did really well uh, for a year or two. It reoccurred. So I saw her more than six months ago in uh, uh, Orlando in uh, USA. I did a cyst gastrostomy, and I put a pancreatic stent in there. And uh, if you can, uh, uh, I'm going to show you just the whole pancreas right now, the EUS. I'm right at the G uh, below uh, below the G junction. You can see that the aorta right there. Mm. You see the uh, celiac, celiac cake celiac, off right yes. there. And when I go to the celiac, you see the left gastric coming off right there. That's the left gastric going towards the right of the screen. Yes. I'm gonna follow the splenic uh, right there, mm. following the splenic, following the splenic, 
following the splenic and that takes me straight to the pancreas right now okay yeah, yes so you see the pancreatic uh, you see the pancreatic duct here you see the splenic artery splenic vein mm -hmm. pancreatic duct a little bit prominent if you take a look at that okay so probably three millimeter or so maybe two to three millimeter right in the body not too bad uh, four millimeters yeah 2.4 okay so not too bad from here when I follow the pancreatic duct towards the tail do you see that it kind of disappears at some point yes sir right there and just pay attention to that and you don't see that anymore right yeah yeah, yeah. okay so what does that indicate Either it's a stricture or it's not connected to the distal duct, right? Yeah. Disconnected duct. And that's why she might have recurrence of the cyst. And mm. now take a look here. There's a fluid collection here, right? Mm. That, that's a, uh, a fluid collection here. And you see these, uh, uh, this uh, stent in there? Those are the cyst gastrostomy stents, which I put those in. So mm. if I keep going further from there, you see the stent right here? Yeah. And uh, if I go further from there, then uh, the duct starts appearing again right there. You see? Mm, yes. There is no duct in the middle yeah. uh, where the, uh, those stents are. So it's kind of a disconnected duct right there. So this is, uh, you see, a disconnected right there. This is a perfect example of that. What, the duct, what, what duct could be the reason for it's this? It's a pancreatitis. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, so I see Saad Bhai. Saad Bhai? Yes, um, I am with you. Okay, so uh, what I'm showing here right now, you see a nice pancreas right there, right? Right. Okay, here, let me show you even a little bit better. You see the nice pancreas right there? Yes. Beautiful, duct right in the middle. Yeah. It's two and a half millimeter, I already measured that. Okay. I'm following that towards the distal body and tail. Do you see yeah. how that disappears? Yeah. No, here, here, and all of a sudden, it's a white spot here, no duct beyond that. Yeah. So either that indicates it's a tight stricture or it's a disconnected. So I'm going further towards the right, and then we start seeing that fluid, chronic fluid collection. You see that? With the Is stent. there a stent as well there? Yeah, there are stents. These are cyst gastrostomy stents. By the way, I took out the PD stent already. Okay. Okay. So these are cyst gastrostomy stent. You see that is just sitting right there. There's yep. a fluid collection. If I go a little bit further to the right from there, and the duct appears again. You see yep. that? Yep. I so can see. So perfect it. example of disconnected duct. Okay. So what does that indicate? What do I need to do with cyst gastrostomy stents? Uh, uh, that's from the question for the audience. Sadhvai knows that. So, so what, what would you do now? Uh, she's got the cyst is basically gone almost and um, she's asymptomatic. She's fine. Mm, do we take these stents out or do we leave them is the question. No, that's not the question. The question is, should we take the stents out or should we leave? Your pseudocyst stents, cyst cystogastrostomy stents, should they be taken out or should they be left? Agar kya matlab? You have to give, an, uh, give a specific answer. This patient has already been told it's got disconnected. So most people think we should not take the stent out. Okay. Which is the right thing to do because there any... As soon as we say, take the stents out, this is going to reaccumulate, and uh, this all whole area is going to fill up, and there's going to be another cyst there. And uh, the proximal pancreas is draining very nicely. The duct is fine. It's a little bit prominent, but you see it's going into the ne neck area. I already looked at from the um, and D2 backwards after taking the stent out. Pancreas looks pretty healthy, no problems there. So I think my worry is, well, uh, and if I take these stents out, the problem is going to happen is uh, uh, these are uh, this is going to reaccumulate. So if she doesn't want to want the stents, what's the other options you can provide? Any other treatment options? If we the suggestion about surgical treatment. 
Um, when you put the stent in, uh, you when you looked at the ERCP last time and you put the uh, pancreatic stuff, because I remember when I did the ERCP, there was there was complete pancreatic duct seam. So there was not complete disconnection when, uh, but but that was obviously prior to this uh, acute collection. When you did ERCP, did you see a? I think I did see it, but it was appeared like a. If I remember it, there was a really really tight stricture in that area. Okay. So yeah. so this so could be a stricture. Yeah, this could be a stricture itself too. Mm. That's what I was saying. Like when I took it out. Like uh, when it disappears, either it indicates a stricture or just there is no connection with the distal. Okay. So I think my worry is it's going to reaccumulate. You agree? Yep. Okay. So I think we should leave it alone. And uh, Rasta, and there is a healthy pancreas distally. You see that? Yep. Nice, very healthy. You see the left kidney here. You see a nice, beautiful duct right there. It's going down. All down. the way. And uh, do you guys see that? Uh, can you uh, lights are on, Karna? Uh, they uh, like when the scope is in the right position i'm just standing really on one leg and uh, just relaxing and my hand this one is on uh, 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 really on that uh, keyboard no problem i can show you all that the left kidney there pancreas there there's a spleen there i'm rotating the scope i get to that uh, uh, area where that uh, fluid collection is just move the scope in a little bit to get to the rest of the pancreas, get relaxing again in position, and uh, everything is in the right place. And you see the whole duct here going all the way to the neck of the pancreas. Okay, Khaled, so, quest question. G. Pancreatic stricture. G. G. Do we know that after you've removed the stent? Well, we follow it with maybe MRCP and see what's the situation like. The patient is asymptomatic but then she already had a stent. Now that we have removed the stent, uh, we need to see if the patient develops pain again, then obviously um, one option would be to go back in and put a stent again. If she remains asymptomatic, do you follow this patient up with, uh, with some kind of imaging to see what's happening with the pancreatic duct or do you leave it just uh, while the patient is asymptomatic, you just leave everything as it is? I think I'll do a MRCP in six months just okay. to get an idea about the duct uh, yeah. status. That's if she's asymptomatic. Yes, that, that's if she's asymptomatic. Okay. But I still want to uh, get an idea about that, where, what yeah. we're dealing with. I, I think that's fair okay. enough. That's okay, so that's where we are, right? That looks like fine. I'm I'll show you. Let me show you from the duodenal bulb a little bit. I already did the D2 side by, so I, uh, I don't know if they saw that. I can show that again if needed when they want to. So that's an air there in the bile duct. You see the nice bile duct right there? Yes. And uh, I'm going to move the cursor right there. Bile duct right there, nice, beautiful. And uh, just rotating to the right, you see that there is a little bit air in the PD as well. Because I just took the stent out, so that's expected. Pancreatic duct right here. This is the duodenal fall right there air in the bile duct as well as the pancreatic duct and now I'm going to rotate the scope a little bit to the left to go towards the liver I'm just gently pushing the scope in and also moving the big wheel away from me rotating rotating all the way slowly keep going keep going keep going until I get I'm keeping the duct, a duct right in the center of my transducer until I get to the liver hilum you see that how it's nicely going into the liver right there right there and uh, this is all the way to the liver hilum now i'm going to come back keep that duct there keep that duct there rotating 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 to the uh, la, uh, uh, right clockwise until i get again to uh, the ampulla now i will pay attention to the pancreatic duct only if you pay attention to pancreatic duct only right there pancreatic duct going there going there it's nice looking at pancreatic duct in the neck right here in the head area a little bit smaller diameter but looking very normal so from here now i'm going to go to the d2 
So we took uh, the stent out already. Stent was intact. We looked at that uh, 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 after taking it out. Make sure the stent is intact uh, and no uh, uh, any of the piece is left behind. So if you look here, I just went to the D2, shortened my scope, suctioned the ear out, big wheel towards me, and I'm straight onto the aorta. Okay. From yep. here, if I go a little bit to the right, uh, to the left, left torque. You, I don't know if you can see that. I yes, we that can see IBC. it very nicely. That's the IBC. IBC. If I go further to the left, I we may see, see the that the left or right, right kidney. kidney there. Okay, right kidney. Or sometimes instead of right kidney, you see the uh, uh, liver, right lobe of the liver, which is fine as well. So the, the uh, IBC is kind of uh, compressed right there. You see that? Yeah. Aorta is right there. Yep. When the aorta is in this position, I rotate the scope a little bit to the right to see if I can get any pancreas. I get the pancreas right there. Yep. I forget about the aorta. If I haven't gotten the pancreas, then I'll pull the scope back a little bit and then do go right and left. So here, you see a nice, beautiful looking pancreas right there. And I'm gonna pull the scope back a little bit to get, so I can find the ducts. That was an unsmith process right she can't here. Eat or drink, so it's and here you see the PD. Everybody sees that. PD. Yes, we can see the PD. Yeah. Okay, and you see the bile duct right there. Yep. Aorta, first bile duct, and rotating a little bit clockwise, and then the PD. Again, aorta. So in D2, the uh, bile duct is next to or prox pro uh, closer to the aorta. Aorta as well as the as the as the transducer as the transducer and yeah. the pancreatic duct is a little away. So look at this nice image right here. You see the IVC yeah, right there. Yeah, you can see aorta, IVC, and both and the ducts. The bile duct. Yeah, and literally the pancreatic duct, little bit of. And a little bit from there, yeah. I go a little bit to the right, and the there. PD comes yeah. up. Okay, so they all are pretty much like literally. I'm just rotating right and left. I'm not even pulling the scope anymore. Yep. They all are in the same plane, everything. Okay, mm -hmm. from here, pancreatic duct, bile duct, aorta, IVC, and if I go further to the left, the extreme, right kidney. Everything is in one plane, not yep. even touching the scope with the right hand. And mm -hmm. I'm just right there, I, IVC, aorta, bile duct, and pancreatic duct. Just gent uh, look at my hand movement, left hand scope hand movement. That's it. Excellent. Okay. So right here you see the PD. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pull the scope back a little bit. You cannot follow the bile duct from D2. So the only thing which I'm going to follow is the pancreatic duct now. Okay. So right there you see the pancreatic duct. I rotate right and left a little bit to get take a look at the pancreatic print comma. Make sure I'm not missing anything there. Keep, uh, keep pulling scope back. Scope big wheel wants to go a little bit away from me. I let it go you because see both it's the ducts going towards the ampulla very yeah. nicely. Uh, you see that those very nicely right here. Yeah. Yep. And this is a duodenal wall. You see the yep. duodenal wall. Yep. And bile duct is all the way to the duodenal wall to yep. the ampulla, and pancreatic duct all the way to the wa a wall right there. That's black muscularis propria. Okay. So I'm gonna come back now, right here. Just gently coming back, gently coming back, trying to keep an eye on PD, trying to keep an eye on PD, which is right here, going this way, going this way, going this way, right there, right there, pulling the scope back, uh, pulling the scope back, duct is still there. I'm gonna let the wheel go a little bit because it wants to go away from me, which is fine. I, and uh, because it had to move back into the duodenal ball, and then into the uh, stomach. So you see that I did not let the duct go at any point, and I'm back into the stomach. I stopped there just to show you, and right there is that area of the fluid collection, right there, the stents are in there, and coming back, coming back, and the rest of the pancreas is right at the bottom. So just one movement from the ampulla all the way to the tail of the pancreas without losing the pancreatic duct. Excellent. And then uh, I already showed you here, aorta is right here. You see the celiac. Celiac, there's a left gastric. Can you appreciate that left gastric yes. coming up? And then you see that there's a one uh, uh, going uh, branch down. going down yep. and one going this way. The one going down is the uh, uh, common hepatic and 
this is splenic. So we are more interested in splenic. So I'm just going to follow the splenic. You see that? Following the splenic. How nicely you can see the uh, even the portal confluence there when you follow the splenic. Okay. Following that, that takes me straight to the pancreas. Didn't do anything. Just gently moving that in. Okay. So I think we are pretty much done with this part. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the scope back. Uh, uh, just in neutral position, just pulling the scope back, not doing anything really, maybe a little bit big wheel towards me and look at that, how nicely the left atrium comes right there, pulmonary artery here, aorta here, you see nice valves there, you see the left ventricle, mitral valve, left atrial appendages right here, you see that, left atrial appendages, I'm going to pull the scope back a little bit. And uh, you see, uh, this is a subcrina. When I see the subcrina, scope is straight. The only thing I'm going to do is let make the scope look uh, uh, scope views look downwards, and I get to the aortic arch. When I get to the aortic arch, I'm going to pull the scope back until the aortic arch is underneath the transducer, big wheel towards me. So I push the scope in maybe half a centimeter to one centimeter, and just rotate a little bit so the wheels are facing the patient, and there is the AP window right there. Okay. Now from there, I can come back further. If I'm more interested, I can take a look at the left carotid. Uh, there's going to be left uh, uh, subclavian here. I keep pulling that back a little bit further. And uh, as I mentioned before, that uh, you likely see the uh, thyroid gland uh, batter on the way in. But sometimes, oh, there is a nice, beautiful looking thyroid gland. You see that? Yes. Nice, beautiful looking thyroid gland. And there, earlier, I saw a uh, jugular as well. And uh, that's pretty much it. I think we are uh, done. Okay. Thank you, Khaled. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Questions? Any questions?